Welcome back everyone. I'm going to tie a few midges. Uh, it's it's a it's a type of fly that we've that's that's very popular in uh, in the UK, especially in the still waters and and the reservoirs to be more specific. But we also fish them in South Africa and in in, st in some still waters. And I think it's a very underrated fly and a very difficult fly to fish for most. Um, anglers because most anglers want to retrieve a fly and this is sort of a a thing that you just leave on a dead drift uh, and and uh, especially when there's a bit of wind it's it can be very successful at, at certain times of the year but there are so many different measures and uh, they all fall in the category of of um, measures uh, midge larva mosquito larva and, and some flies. So I'm going to do a series of, uh, of videos to, to show different types of midges and different techniques to tie them. Uh, the first one I'm just going to do a general uh, video on, on how to tie a midge with a kind of epoxy body. Now we used to, the, the, the epoxy um, uh, uh, Midge or epoxy buzzers, or and this is going to be it's, it, this is going to be uh, wet flies, not the 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 the, the lava the lava um, stage, not the dry fly or adult stage. Um, now, back in the day, we used to tie midges with um, without epoxy on the on the bodies. Then we discovered epoxy and we started coating the 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 the, the, the abdomens with epoxy, and then. Uh, but that was a bit of a mission because you have to mix the epoxy and then coat it and if you if your mix is not right it it, it remains tacky and it, it's it's just not nice until we um had access to uh, uh uv resins and now we can type very realistic um uh, uh, epoxy buzzes or or um uh, uh, midge lava coated with a uv resin and there are different techniques that you can can use to, to depending on on what you want to imitate and how you want to do this. So the first one I'm going to do is just going to be a basic midge lava um, or bu epoxy buzzer, um, and we're going to do that with instead of epoxy. Obviously, we're going to do that with UV resin. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the hooks that you can can use for these. Now we generally use a fine wire scud hook um, similar to what we'd used for for caddis flies but just in a in a finer wire um, because we fish these these flies very close to the surface and if you want a bit of weight in the fly to get it down a little bit deeper go to a heavier um, hook instead of trying to add weight to the fly because if you, as soon as you start to add weight to the fly you um, you're going to make it bulky you just wrap I'm going to tie this in olive and it's it's very basic it's it's a it's it's a fly that that needs very little material and a very small variety of material so what I'm going to use as a abdomen material is just a standard olive thread and you wrap that cover the hook I'm using a grip uh, 14711 size 12 now you can tie these from a size 10 all the way down to a size uh, 20 22 even um, and uh, what I'm going to use for the for the rib is a grip micro flash in black it's a, a, a very fine flashable in black that we use for the rib. Now there are many different materials that you can use for 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 midges um, to to create different effects. You can you can use holographic flash for the abdomen. You can you can tie flash over the top of the hook uh, uh, before you wrap the rib to 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 get a bit of a two tone effect on the on the fly. Um, important thing is keep those thread wraps next to each other. So that you've got a nice smooth body and you go back about two thirds to the front about there. Next step is to tie the 
to to create the rib with the with the flash. Now, oh, those Adidas are just the signature of Africa. Um, we did create that rib with the flash, tie that off there with just about two wraps and crumb that. You can close that in, or just tie that tag end down. Now, for the cheeks, you use there's different materials. You can use goose bites, you can use all sorts of stuff. I personally like to use uh, a, a Danville flat waxed thread. This is probably the best saltwater or bug tying thread available. Um, and it, it works very well because it's flat, it doesn't make a fly bulky at all. And it's just great stuff to work with. So what you do, you cut a piece and then you fold it around the, the thread, slide it up on the inside of the hook, like one wrap in front of it and you leave that there. And then you take that piece of thread, one piece on the far side of the hook past the bend and one on your side of the hook past the bend. And you tie this down on the inside of the hook, that's quite important. And you tie that back Let's go back a bit about there. And you just leave that there. Now you have to create a bit of a of a head, a thorax area. And you do that with your thread. Now I'm using an 80 grip thread, and it's I, I prefer to use a thin thread, and rather build it up with a few more layers than use a thick thread that goes gets bulky very quick, and make a nice almost like an oval shaped thorax, and you stop your thread in the front right there. And you grab the one piece of, of flat waxed and you fold it along the side of the of the uh, 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 thorax to the top of the hook and you tie that off right there then you grab the other piece and you do exactly the same along the other side and tie it off at the top of the hook right there So you've got that, and you trim that excess, and you tie the ends in. Go back towards the thorax area, and create a or we'll finish the, the thread with thread wraps next to each other. And you tie that off. That's the buzzer. Now we still have to coat this with with uh, epoxy or uh, uh, UV resin. So for that we use a I use a thin grip UV resin, um, which is a uh, it comes with a brush, but I don't use the brush to apply it because it, 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 the, the brush is a bit bulky and it, it um, because it's on a small fly and you need a thin coat. Um, I use a, um, I just put a little drop on a, on a piece of paper or a little pad that I can throw away afterwards and then I take a dubbing needle and apply and spread it with, with the dubbing needle. So use uh, put a little drop on there and I do it in two stages so the first is just to create a little bit of a of a more prominent thorax and 
and this is why rotary vice is very important. I use a, a J vice and I've tied on on many vices. I've tied on I'm not going to name them all but I've tied on very expensive vices. I've got very expensive vices sitting here but I also always go back to my J vice and I own three of them. One is permanently mounted to my tying desk, this one and then so once you've done that you zap that with your UV torch and then I have one with a with a lighter base that Jay made for me that I travel with when I do demonstrations um, in uh, uh, in the UK or the US and um, then I've got another one that I just use locally when I go to my other office or when I have to travel around here yeah. and um, <clears throat> they're just beautiful it's a it's a it's a very nice rotary vice never had problems definitely get the midge jaws if you tie small flies like this now you can see that the, the head is nicely shaped and formed there and then you coat the abdomen with a thin layer of UV resin like that and you can rotate it slowly to make sure it spreads all around the hook and cure that with your UV torch and that's the basic buzzer now there are there are many different ones you can tie it in all sorts of colors um, <coughs> sizes and, and if you want to learn more about buzzers, besides going on to Google, especially if you're in South Africa, you should get the book called A Field Guide to Freshwater Microinvertebrates of Southern Africa by Christian Frey. Um, this is a very good compilation of invertebrates of Southern Africa and, and uh, there's a very nice um, part, I think it's from, from about page 22, um, about coronamids, midges, biting midges, um, all the different types of midges, gives the true colors of those midges, sizes, um, mosquitoes, all the larvae from about page, uh, I think it's page 22, let me just make sure, yeah, page 22 to um, uh, uh, about page 27, 28, where the flies and fly larva starts. And you can it, it gives you an idea of size and color and shape. So for the different for the different buzzers, we use different hooks. Um, now the normal coronamid kind of uh, midge buzzers, we use a uh, this hook. I like to use especially if it if it if it's more bloodworm kind of thing or a red buzzer. Then I prefer to use a uh, the 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 one four. 582 which is a longer shank cur longer curved shank hook and then um, when it's like a mosquito lava I just use a standard um, dry fly hook like the 11001 um, like that and I'll use these in in uh, uh, videos to show different techniques and uh, a few different buzzers thanks for watching uh, please like the video please subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with more midges and lava very soon.